be back in um, Conway. What do we have to do here now? Um, go to the top. Meeting. Go to the window to find out what is he doing. Dad? Obviously this is a recap. He's going I back to see his daughter. I shouldn't be here. The girl's missing, he so he's hurt. sort of a conflict of interest. Try to work it out. Are you finished here? Almost. Yes. Are you okay? Yes, <sighs> I'm fine. It's poor shot at me. I'm worried about. Anyway, look at you. I rarely get to see you in your uniform. You look good. Thank you. I wish it was a little more comfortable. Catherine, can I ask, what have you found? I'm not allowed to tell you. You know that. Besides, I don't have all the details myself, and my sergeant isn't exactly forthcoming with new recruits. Hang in there. You're an asset. They'll come to see how intelligent you are. Thank you. All I can say is that it looks as though Tony Morgan's daughter has been kidnapped. Awful news. May I ask why they're searching the pine woods? Do they know where the kidnapper went? No. <clears throat> it's a dead end. We're clueless, but we can't be seen. Typical war them. uniform she's wearing now, isn't it? And the locals suggested the woods. So... Police. Dear God. I perhaps wonder if I should talk to my neighbours again. Not like nowadays. The police are like SWAT yes. soldiers. Catherine, I've been thinking. And... Dad. What? Don't think. I know this is happening on your doorstep. Please, don't get any ideas. I'm a naturally curious person, you know that. We don't do this anymore. Leave it to us, please. Well, do the police have any ideas? Dad, I mean it. Don't get involved. Well, I'd like to help. I want to do this on my own. Well, well you know what an ignorant old farty is by the looks of say. it. I want to do He's it the gonna right do the research way. himself, isn't it? By the book. Please promise me. Okay. I, I promise. I'll leave the police work up to you. Thank you. Anyway, I'd better be off. I have to make a statement before the morning press. My sergeant is really trusting me with something. Well, you'd better hurry. I'll look out for your heart. Right. I'm off. Please go back and see me. I'll catch you chill. Night, man. Night, Dad. All right. Go into take notice of her and don't think so. The last thing I want is to upset Catherine. I can Body. tell how serious she is about her case. Yeah, right, okay. I've never seen her so driven. I suppose I'll still develop the photos I've taken of the crime scene. I yeah. might have captured something that the police did. Oh, yeah. I won't be stepping on Catherine's toes if I stay in my flat, out of the way. Conway's flat, the next morning. Yeah. That's spooky, the gates open, the doors open by themselves, isn't it? Right, what have we got here, apart from big photographs? Look like they've been jet printed. The police have marked out several pieces of evidence that are likely related to the attack. However, Mrs. Doer handed me a brooch that was found at the scene. Mr. Morgan later confirmed it belonged to Charlotte May. Could the brooch be a missing piece of the puzzle? Let's have a look. Right, okay. So... Oh, whoops. I don't know what you're supposed to do with this. I wonder if 
finding where the bridge was dropped could help build a better picture of the attacker's movements. I'm not too sure what you're supposed to do with this. I wonder if finding where the brooch was dropped could help build a better picture of the tiger's movements. I wonder if finding where the brooch was dropped could help build a better picture of the attacker's movements. There must be a detail I'm missing on some of the evidence. I need to make sure I'm looking at all of the evidence. I'm not too sure what you do with this, guys. I wonder if finding where the bridge was dropped could help build a better picture of the attacker's movements. So. If Mrs. Dillon was right about where she found the brooch, it means the kidnapper must have come past her manor house at some point during the abduction. I forgot to get the brooch. Oh, we've got some posts. It just hasn't been a good time. It sounds like I have mail. Now what's this? The letter. A blank letter. I don't know what envelope, yeah envelope, yeah but there's nothing on it and every time I press the button it throws it back in, what have you got to do? It's blank, stop examining yeah but what have you got to do? Zoom in Nothing. Oh, right, okay. Way. Yeah. Mr. Morgan's note implicates most of his neighbors. I had suspected as much, but. Now I have something solid to work with. Catherine has asked me not to get involved. 
But I've already promised Mr. Morgan I'll find Charlotte May. I should have told Catherine there and then. I'm already involved. I can feel it again. That drive, that first pull of the yard. It's all on this evidence board. Suspects, victims, items found at the scene. I have everything. All that remains is to watch over my neighbors until one of them makes a mistake. And I can still give Catherine her space. Watch over your neighbors, be a nosy old get. Searching the pinewoods. Yeah. Someone needs to keep an eye over the daily view. Oh my word. You should have a neighbour like that. Twitching curtains. His appearance that daily view. Daily view. Daily view. Daily view. Daily view. Daily is the plant, isn't it? Flower. Right, Conway. This car looks like um, an old Citroen 2CV. I don't I've been sitting it. watching my neighbours on and off for hours. But I've seen nothing of any use for my evidence board. Tony Morgan suggested that the McKees were acting strangely in Charlotte Way. I heard Theodore return home earlier this evening, but didn't manage to get a glimpse. They're all looking through the windows, aren't they? Aren't they nosy? So far, for the blank. This is your man here with the wheelchair. Perhaps the McKees are innocent. Only time will tell. You need a shape, mate. Thank you, thank you. Annabelle and Theodore seemed normal enough when we spoke last night. By their account, they didn't see much at all. Why would Mr. Morgan ask me to watch them? Why are you being nosy? They need the pots doing. Where's she going? Right? Oh, something's going on. He's panicking about something, isn't he? Oh, calm down. Pacing back and forward. Oh, where we going? Excuse me. She got a bruise on her face. No. I still have no idea what the problem is. Perhaps this is what Mr. Morgan was talking about. Blah, blah. My phone. Notifications. She sat down or is she kneeling down? Can't tell. Picking it up. Oh, she's worried. When you bite the fingernails, they're usually worried about something. And 
Well, Annabelle is... Uh, Annabelle has seen something just out of my view. Whatever it is, she's horrified by it. What on earth is it? Could have at least watched the parts. Let's take them parts. Mine look. No, it's like saying that my neighbours were looking down at me with a camera. They'd be getting the bird day, I tell you. Right here. Mr. Morgan is writing missing posters by hand. He has been there all evening. Are you going to wash out liquid? I don't even know what you've been eating. Beef. Oh. She's got a knife. Jesus. This? She's going to... No. Oh, I thought it was going to clear... She wants Theo to use it. Yeah, to cook the food. But clean the club pots first. Clean the pots before you do it. Hammer and knife. He doesn't know which one to use. Do you want to spot a plumber? He looks, doesn't look like a plumber, does he? Not. Where's the other woman now? She's not here, is she? She at the window here now. Don't do it. Don't smash the pots up. Whatever it is, take pause of yourself. One Sam recording, Mecca. I didn't eat them all. I I left some for you, Mecca.
What have I just witnessed? Some time has passed since I saw Theo hit something with a mallet. I didn't actually see anything. I've got to take your voice out now. I've got to take your voice out. Because I'm recording. No, I wasn't. I'm recording again now. I just have to bear in mind. I'm going to check it. Annabelle is back at the door. Oh, Get it out of here. What the hell do you think I'm doing? Hurry up. <laughs> Mr. Morgan. Hello, Annabelle. Lovely evening. Yes, I suppose so. I hope that's not a bad day. I don't mind, I have something. It's just all so sad, isn't it? Please, I really do need to be going. I'm so sorry, of course. If there's anything I can do, you won't hesitate to ask. Damn it, what should I do? Catherine, ask me not to get involved. But this... It's a bit too serious now, guys, isn't it? It's not over until it's over. I think I need to pay the McKees a personal call. I think that'll be, be it for this episode, guys. Oh no, I'll just wait in front for a bit. Excuse me. I've barely slept at all. I can't fully explain what I observed last night, and I can't shake the image of Charlotte May on the Key's pantry, lying there, helpless. I thought that I thought that see had a toilet on it then. I'd have smashed that and threw it right through the window. Shut up. God I'd have flung that right through a window. 